you know mr george i am coming to you right uh, because it's very interesting right low code no code very high frequency of putting application modernization or building let me say a peripheral you know sort of an app app world which builds the ecosystem and integrates supply chain partners etc together you know you are from a consulting world mr george and and a, and a very vast uh, experience at your end the changing environment needs to be integrated in the current environment as well you know, and the, and it when the rubber hits the road i haven't ever seen that it works seamless right so what are the two or three principles you see is important for for understand thank you uh, thank you shalil for that question uh, good afternoon to all the panel members uh, the point is uh, you know i must make one fact very very clear that uh, our in, i'm talking of indian manufacturing especially uh, indian discrete manufacturing has really adopted they were the earlier adopters of erp 20 years ago i've been in this business for some time to know that and i know the kind of responses when we approached for potential companies who are looking at enterprise solutions they came up with points like you know this doesn't work for india but so we have come a long way we need to appreciate and know that we've been able to evolve and adapt uh, quickly to take the best uh, you know that uh, the it has to offer that's one second is uh, there are two situations you will look at uh, there is a whole bunch of customers who are coming to us saying hey we have outgrown our pants so there is this whole set of guys who could be mid sized or large large companies were taking a strategic shift in direction or it could be small companies rapidly growing they come and tell us hey we have grown, outgrown we've heard that you're good in manufacturing tell us something and look at our business and let us know how it is done so there is a complete re a refresh or a rechange in the solution that is where we offer our cloud solution because putting a cloud based or a saas based solution is basically scaling up your services the points that you know uh, you will find very easy easy to switch on our services and uh, we always say that once you're on the true cloud that's your last upgrade <laughs> with it guys on the call you know that's your last upgrade that's one yeah. part the other one is uh, folks who are using a you know very large enterprise very successfully using an on prem kind of opportunity that we see we are seeing a trend in which their peripheral systems are going on the cloud which i see it as testing the waters as they say you know so while we speak uh, let me tell you those days of peripheral systems are gone we are actually have uh, you know 800 crore 1000 crore and above company is now implementing erp end to end from sales to production planning to inventory to finance on the cloud so that's one angle of it my may be a little wordy uh, response but i think i uh, you know i would request patience uh, there second thing is at the bottom piece of it once we got the erp we got the financials and everything done then we are seeing that a lot of people are investing into uh, ot systems you know operational technology systems like uh, you know uh, sensors and you know data capture uh, collection systems which they are then trying to make sense on quality efficiency all of that part on the machine so that's where you see uh, from erp we are seeing people go down to get sensors and so efficiency and people are going up to actually start using artificial intelligence and machine language they may be very very small use cases but it's undeniable that's the way to go so to, i think i've answered your question in a long and winding way but it's very important to understand the whole landscape